Are you powerless in comparison to the people who brought down apartheid in South Africa? Are you powerless to the African Americans uh, who fomented the, the contemporary black liberation movement in this country? Are you powerless to women worldwide who were regarded as non-people and fomented the women's movement? Are you powerless compared to the folks in Czechoslovakia under communist rule mm -hmm. who over a decade ate away at the root system of that evil and cruelty and fomented the Velvet Revolution. So if you look at those, if you look at those um, great movements of social change, uh, you not only get encouragement, you not only realize they were up against something a lot worse than my school board or my hospital administrative staff or that health insurance company, you also get clues about alternative forms of power. So those movements were fomented by folks who had had every external form of power taken away from them. They had no status, they had no standing, they had no leverage. What they did was to access the only source of power that no one can take away from us, and that's the power of the human heart, the power of the soul, the power of identity and integrity. I think about this sometimes as the Rosa Parks decision or the Rosa Parks moment in life where an apparently powerless person, an ordinary citizen, says, I hold a truth on the inside that has power. And the truth is that I'm a full human being with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. And I am no longer going to collaborate with a system that treats me as less than a full human being. Rosa Parks did a very simple thing. She sat down in a seat on the bus where she ought not to have sat, according to the police, according to the racist society of her time. And in doing that, she helped trigger a much larger movement reclaiming human identity and integrity. I think today there are tens and thousands of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of, of bus seats to be occupied by people of conscience and goodwill. These, these are teachers who, who are saying, no, I'm not accountable to the folks who mandated the high stakes tests. I'm accountable to these kids. Mm -hmm. These are doctors and nurses who are saying, I am not any longer gonna collaborate with a system that deprives people who need it of the health care they need. I'm not responsible to that system. I'm responsible to people who need health care. Mm -hmm. So I, I, think, I think these movements not only uh, give us uh, examples of folks who fought much larger and tougher enemies than, than we're up against, but I think they also give us clues as to how that struggle can be energized.